How to Adjust an NACD 24547-403-503 Clutch Tools Required Torque Wrench 1.5 inch Socket 3 8 inch End Wrench Flat Screwdriver Hammer and a 10 inch Punch Lockout Tag Out Be sure to read the safety manual in its entirety prior to working on your Moorbark brush chipper. The Maintenance Made Easy videos provide you visual reference only and are not intended to replace your safety manual. Always wear proper clothing and personal protective equipment. Clothing should be close fitting and tucked in. Hard hat, eye and ear protection must be worn while working on the chipper. All eye protection must be OSHA approved and should consist of safety glasses with side shields, goggles or a flip down visor that may be plastic or mesh. Wear a sturdy pair of work pants and a good pair of steel-toed work boots with non-slip soles. Proper fitting gloves are also recommended to protect the worker's hands. Warning! Always perform the lockout tagout procedure before working on your chipper. Serious injury or death could occur if someone accidentally starts the engine. Remove the clutch nameplate with a 3 8 inch end wrench. Keep the nameplate close by as the information needed for adjusting your clutch is printed on the front. To begin, rotate the clutch arms to locate the adjustment lock. After you locate the adjustment lock, use a small flat screwdriver to turn the adjustment lock up. Using a 10 inch punch and hammer, rotate the adjustment ring clockwise to tighten. Next, locate the torque specifications printed on the clutch nameplate and set your torque wrench accordingly. Slip the torque wrench and 1.5 inch socket on the clutch handle nut and lift up on the torque wrench to engage the clutch. Listen for the torque wrench to make a click sound at the same time the clutch engages. If the clutch engages before you hear the click, retighten the clutch and try again. Repeat this process until you hear the torque wrench click as the clutch engages. After the setting is complete, use a small flat screwdriver to turn the adjustment lock back down. Make sure the lock spring is in the detent slot. Finally, put the nameplate back on, tighten the bolts, and remove the lockout tagout. Your clutch is now ready for operation.